London vs New York City – City Comparison Hello! Won't it be great to do a city comparison here? OK, let's start with London vs New York City comparison. In the course of this comparison, we shall see similarities and differences between living in London and living in New York City. Let me quickly tell you that this is not just a living comparison, but a city comparison. Therefore, while we would love to be as detailed as we can be, please don't feel let down when certain details about living conditions are missing. Nevertheless, here's a highlight of what we think you should know about these two iconic and fanciful cities that boast wonderful foods, classical theatre, exotic lifestyle and state-of-the-art technologies. Please enjoy the city comparison – London vs New York City. Size London is the largest city of England and the United Kingdom. Sometimes referred to as the City of London and the Square Mile, the city has an area of two square miles. But this is smaller than the area known as the Greater London, which is about 607 square miles, which incorporates 32 boroughs. New York City, or NYC, often simply called New York, is the most populous city in the United States. The city, located in the southern part of New York State, the 24th largest city in the US, sits on a total area of 300.46 square miles. New York City is made up of five boroughs, namely the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island and Manhattan. Population What about the population of the two cities? The population of London is estimated to be 8.9 million, while that of New York City is 8.8 .8 million. This means more people are living in London than those living in New York City. Did you notice that we mentioned that the figures are just an estimate? The population of New York City is derived from US Census data analysis. While the London area is almost double that of NYC, the population figures for both cities are pretty close. London is only a couple of hundreds of thousand more populous than New York. For that reason, London's population density of 11,407 people per square mile is lower than New York City's. NYC, which is also the most densely populated major city in the US, has a population density of 27,000 people per square mile. Though London is bigger and more populous than New York City, more people are living on the streets of New York than you would find on London streets. This is because more New Yorkers are packed and cramped into a smaller area than Londoners. People This can be a bit controversial, but that's what has been observed about the people who live in both cities. Londoners, as those living in London are called, are polite, though other people see them as being too reserved or even haughty. They're perceived by foreigners as giggly and judgmental. It remains to be proved whether they see themselves in that light. People living in London are keen on structure and politeness in dressing. However, they can be less formal and can even unbutton their shirts at the pub. You can expect them to give you a long French stare if you're an oddball. One beautiful thing about the people living in London is the preservation of tradition. Tea has remained tea since millenniums, and lawyers still appear in white wigs. On the other hand, New Yorkers, as people living in New York are called, can be erratic, impulsive, but confident. Yet this produces the best result. As a matter of fact, if you don't have a measure of ruggedness or can't cope with furor, the non-stop city of New York is probably not for you. You can be called out for almost anything by New Yorkers. New York is for the determined people. The city, however, is designed and run to allow everyone to get the best. Thus, nothing is depriving anyone of good food, dark humour and new experiences if you strive. Cleanliness Both cities have a measure of struggles with dirt. It is understandable and expected of big cities. But in this city comparison, we have to give it to London. Why? This is not because New Yorkers have less cleaning and maintenance culture than Londoners. The fact is that waste management is challenging in most populous cities and the higher the population density of a city, the more challenging it is to maintain high a standard of cleanliness and orderliness, even in cities with large bodies of water around it. Food As far as food is concerned, London is none of a big grab-and-go thing. Well, we mentioned tea earlier. You can't take that away from London. Coffee and pastry are surely for you to take away in the morning. But when it comes to lunch and dinner, London wants you to sit in and eat. There are fantastic restaurants in London where you can have favourite meals, which consist of Indian cuisines rich in curry. There is also pub fare with locally raised and farmed foods. Unfortunately, many of the tourists do not know where to go to get the food they desire to eat, even while these foods are readily available and waiting for them somewhere in the city. You can find even your native food there if you can find your way to where it is. 
a new food scene is the Fish and Chips pub fair outside of the touristy. It is entirely new and trendy. Check out also Michelin star restaurants in every neighborhood. Now to NYC. In New York City, foodies will thank their stars. This is the headquarters of Grab and Go Food. There is just something for everyone, from bagels to slices. For instance, the infamous New York slice can't be strange to anyone who has ever moved to New York. There is a giant piece of pizza with the perfect cheese. It's just for a few bucks. If you travel to enjoy dinner in New York, you're in for a delightful sight. There are top restaurants where you can book your order in advance. The fact is that there's something for everyone in every street. A restaurant will be there that serves your need. Is it the one that exclusively makes bao or ones thriving on Italian fusion? New York City is simply unbeatable. Transportation. We have to tell you that it is difficult to determine which one is better between the two cities when it comes to public transportation. Taking a taxi in London, for instance, will cost you a nice dinner. And taking a taxi in New York City can be worse than walking the whole journey. London still prides itself in being a pioneer of the underground train service called the Tube. The London Underground remains unmatched to date. In New York City, the subway or metro can be a better way of getting around. It is faster than many other ways of getting around in NYC. One downside to this and other forms of public transportation in London is that they close early on normal days. Hardly do they work past midnight. But in New York City, public transport is 24-7. Shopping. London is great for early risers, as there are many unique coffee shops and handmade breakfasts to enjoy when you want to explore those famous museums. Bear in mind that London is just a stone throw away from the famous shopping centres of the world such as Paris, Amsterdam and Madrid. You will get many of those top boutique brands when shopping in London. Just anything you are looking for, including even dinosaur fossils, those shops will get them for you. New York City is a city that never sleeps. Everywhere, any time of the day. As mentioned earlier, there are unique restaurants, ice coffee shops and vintage stores in every neighborhood that has its own cultural norms and styles, especially in Williamsburg. If you'd love to shop and have dinner, New York can be a more welcoming place to visit. London wins shopping in this city comparison. Yes, NYC has fantastic shopping, but those shops can't stand what London has to offer. Leisure a good way to illustrate this is the availability of parks. There are more green spaces in London than in New York. All space in this densely populated city has been occupied. In fact, the only park in Manhattan is Central Park. But in London, you have open spaces and parks. Hyde Park and St. James's Park are just examples of world-renowned parks. Now, what is your take? London versus New York City. Which one is better? The choice is tough, right? In summary, London is beautiful with the most famous landmarks in the world, while New York City is more exciting and fun-filled. Please, we would love to have your opinion of the two cities. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell.